Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here. Uh, better late than never, a little late today, but we're here to take a look at your week ahead. Um, this is April 8th, 2024. By now, y'all, a lot of you have seen the eclipse and we're moving forward with the day. It has been incredibly busy for me. Uh, we're going to start with a couple of general messages and we're going to go right into that weekly read. Now, guys, if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTomlin.com. If you're coming into a collective read with a general question, by all means, let's throw it out there to spirit because in an odd way, a lot of times that question will be answered during your collective reading. Um, and like I said, if you're seeking a personal one, please visit my website now hello how are you today hello 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 jen so yeah um let's see what's coming up for the week what's coming up for the week what does the energy look like and again i apologize for being so late over here now i will be doing another one at 7 p.m eastern uh on youtube that is youtube.com backslash psychic jacking you care to join me over there we'll go a little bit further with this reading but right now let's just get the basics for what's going on because tomorrow i'll be over here and we'll take this whole week and we're going to dissect it down and we're going to break it down to the next 48 hours so let's see what the energies are looking like for the week we have summer everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime for some of you honestly i think it's before that hey sunny how are you and we have affirmations to lift up your thoughts and your energy and to attain what you desire. Use positive affirmations. Now, I try to leave y'all with affirmations at the end of each reading. We have a new home here. Moving, so moving is a step in the right direction for you. So there is a new home. Doesn't mean it's this week. But there you are. Hello, Carmen. How are you? Be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. Being yourself. Just be who you are. Birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. Some of you attending a birthday party or anniversary party. And we have, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. Who do you need to forgive? Let, let me uh, give you a little speech here on forgiveness. Okay? Sometimes <laughs> people confuse forgiveness with having to apologize to someone that you really don't like. <laughs> okay? That's not what forgiveness is about. It's about forgiving someone in your heart. It's asking to release that old resentment and the anger and the energy that you're carrying. Because it's doing that. It's absorbing your energy. It's handing it over to spirit and getting on with your life and asking for forgiveness. Yeah, in other words, whoever you're better towards, don't give them any more of your energy. Just don't. Hello, how are you? Raging Cajun. All right, let's see. What do we have? What else do we need to know before we get into this reading? receptivity allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition your energy and ability to give to others be open be an open channel hello shanta be strong you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome choose happy to y'all y'all know how i am about that medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power a lot of healing was in our, our reading yesterday We're still here today fairness the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner bold unleash your adventure side adventurous side take risk and be daring you don't need to be bold this week and we have home your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in your occupants. Easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Now, y'all remember, we have left divine timing for perfect timing. And we have Mother Earth. You are called upon to help with environmental 
environmentalism and we have the inner wisdom you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay oh that's my drink in the other room okay so trusting your intuition good read y'all good read let's get into this and see what we have for you today Hello, Betty Boop. How are you? Focus is always on what we need to know for the week because sometimes it's a little general than our line of questions. Uh, don't forget, I am available tomorrow for readings. JackieTomlin.com Setting up for tomorrow, tomorrow evening, and part of the day on Wednesday. We have the sun. Okay, with the sun it comes the Ten of Swords. And with that Ten of Swords, well, there's that Three of Cups. So now we're talking about, of course, the sun shines brightly in all that you do. This is your happy card. This is the indication you're doing the right thing. The Ten of Swords, is, again, let's go back to the healing. You're surrounded by healing energy. For some of you, this is healing because someone has done you wrong. And for others of you, this is just a healing in general. Three of Cups talks about a get-together, a celebration, three and or more people. Remember, I mentioned a birthday, anniversary, something like that. Very nice. We have the Two of Pentacles. Um, center your reading comes with the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Five of Wands. So, in matters of money... It looks like some of you are a little bit out of your comfort zone. Maybe it's a little bit tighter than what you would like to see, but just a little bit tight. Some of you juggling a little bit, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. Well, the good news is there's a little extra coming in. Uh, when I speak about extra, it's just that it's some extra coming in here. We're looking at, um, this could be a raise or promotion, commission check, bonus check, commission check. The sale of something. But it's a little something, something coming in. So, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Like the, like the energy of that. Uh, also, asking you to avoid some drama. This is either with friends or with family. Avoid it. Don't, it's not, again? <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Cleaning your energy, Samantha. Again, this is not worth your energy. Okay? Not worth your energy. Seven of Wands, being true to you. This is what I'm talking about. This Zen card. The journey inward working on you. Sometimes you got to put yourself first. Your energy is important because you've got that Nine of Wands. It's a bajiggity energy. That tells me you're anxious, you're excited, you're like a cat on a hot tin roof right now. Mercury, Eclipse, all of that going on. Hello, Bobby. And we have the King of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be. But it tells me you're about to take authority in that process of taking care of you. You're going to put your foot down and you're going to be true to you. This is you saying, hey, I've done X, Y, and Z. Well, now this is my time to shine. We're going to do A, B, and C. Some of you having some professional portraits done. And I say this because I see like this cool looking blue background. Okay, and we have the Ace of Cups. You are under a new beginning in matters of the heart, in matters of love. Oh, let's use this deck. Get into some clarification here right quick. Again, my apologies for being so late. I won't be this late over here tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll take a look at the next 48. Right now we're into the week. Tomorrow we can condense it down a little bit to that next 48 for you guys. Okay? Now, let's see. What do we have here? You've got the moon energy. Yep. Y'all feeling a little squirrely today. It's because of the moon. And we have the Four of Wands. Okay, someone is looking at you as the end all be all. Just so you know, they're looking at you as the happily ever after. And with that, we have the Seven of Cups. I want y'all to slow down and think things through this week. 
This is telling me you've got options. You've got options in many, many, many areas. So slow down. Just slow down. Okay? And let's see. When we get into this healing energy, the world is your oyster. It's right beside the sun. How beautiful is that? Okay, and we have the Page of Wands coming in with the Messenger card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. And the message is the Hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck like you're, you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. Very possible, Jenna. Very possible. Uh, like you're not moving forward, you're not moving backwards, no movement. When you're feeling like that, let me tell you, this is spirit that's holding you up. This is spirit telling you to slow down and be still because it's going to provide the answers that you seek or lead you to what you know. But generally, this is a good indication that something's going on behind the scenes. <clears throat> Three of Cups comes in. I'm also seeing you. Um, this could be a family member. There's three or more people in the get-together. This person has short, curly, brown, or uh, black hair. It's a woman. That is at play here. And again, with the bajiggity energy, that nine of wands. She says that you're like that cat on the hot tin roof. It's the energy. Okay. We have the knight of wands here. Let's talk about movement on the home front. Okay, someone moving in, someone moving out. I am looking at full residential moves for some of you here or some of you on the replay, and it's going to be a big new beginning for you. Now, if you remember correctly, last week, if you were here for last week's reading, it was about endings and closures, where this week is going to be more about going into those new beginnings. And we have the Eight of Wands. That movement is going to lead you to victory, success, happiness, and contentment. Two of Pentacles, out of your financial comfort zone. With that comes, okay, the Queen of Cups. No matter what, no matter what you're struggling with, keep your heart open. Keep your heart open to give love. Keep your heart open to receive love and be objective. Also, Scorpio may or may not resonate here. Um... You have someone coming in with an unexpected offer of love. And for a lot of you, you need to know it's someone younger. Okay? And the Knight of Swords. Something rushing in. What is rushing in for you? Knight of Cups. So, two offers of love. Two offers of love. Now, some of you, this could be the love of family and friends, too. Okay? Eight of Pentacles. When we're talking about more money. More money. Money in addition to. What comes out with that? Mm, look at there's the star. It's talking about wish fulfillment. For some of you, there may be a little delay attached to it. And some of you is letting you know the delay is over. But either way, this extra money is faded to you. It's destined to happen. Some upcoming travel plans. Short trip right around the corner. Now, on this unexpected drama, there's the King of Wands again of you taking authority. <clears throat> My favorite, the chariot is here. Nia, thank you, dear. Greatly appreciate it. The chariot, the rushing in, your yes answer. Love, love, love the energy of the chariot. The chariot says, yeah, move forward. You get what you want. It's going to come rushing in and it's coming unexpected. And remember, you are in Mercury Retro. You are in that time frame of the unexpected. Good, bad, and different. It's here. This is the time frame of your unexpected. And I want to throw out there too, this week, unexpected company, yes, is definitely present. Ooh, patience problem, patience problem. Some of you going to have to dig for your patience. Family and friends is what I'm seeing. Digging for the patience. Uh, now, I think I said something about be warned of foolish decisions because there it is. You're happy, go lucky, carefree, traveling like you getting ready to jump into something with two feet without even thinking about it. And some of you, it's got to do with this residential move. Okay. We have a Queen of Wands energy here. It tells me that you may. May be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn may or may not resonate with you. 
And on this original Nine of Wands, we have, again, with the King of Wands, grounded, centered, taking your own advice. I like it. You're really putting yourself forward. Ace of Cups. New beginning. New beginnings in love. You know it is a week of new beginnings. And we're looking at the Ten of Wands. Okay, guys. Y'all been through a lot. You've been through a lot emotionally and physically. This is telling me the worst is over. The worst is over. Uh, some of you are actually getting ready to receive the keys to a vehicle. I want to be very specific that this does seem to be a vehicle. Okay. And on the first King of Wands here, we have Judgment. And what we're talking about with Judgment, well, it's just that. It's Judgment. Do not pass Judgment on someone too quickly. You'll be wrong if you do. And quit worrying about whatever the people think about you. Stop worrying about that. Letters V is here. And an S. Letter V or the letter S may or may not resonate with you. Vicky, Victoria, I do hear those names. May mean something to someone. And we have the Queen of Wands. I'm very adamant about this earth sign that I'm picking up. May very well be a Virgo. And again, with the Nine of Wands, the Bajiggity, it's, it's, it's everybody. It's not just you. It's everybody. Okay? It's everybody. Okay? And on that Ace of Cups, that new beginning, the new beginning in love. What do we have here? We have, <laughs> it's because, going back. To a new beginning in love, someone does view you as the end all be all. Okay. Um, some of you may hear of someone getting married or divorced. And we have justice being served with strength on your side, no matter what you do. Strength on your side, no matter what you do. Let me explain this to you. You are getting ready to reconnect with someone from the past. I don't think that's in your love life. I think that's like reconnecting family and friends wise. Um, but strength on your side no matter what you do. Because you're in an incredibly, incredibly busy week. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on. So that kind of strength on your side to get through. Not strength because something is happening. You need strength. But strength to get you through. Let's give you some kippers for your week ahead. Good afternoon, Queen. How are you? Hello, Jackie. All right. It's a wealthy man, specifically a wealthy man. I think this person's been watching you. I think this person knows who you are. Um, there is a warning here on your health. Okay. Uh, now, I, me and my daughter both, she's sensitive as well, have been struggling with our health with the eclipse energy. It's just been amazingly bad. And it can provoke all sorts of symptoms in you. And those that are, if I got readers in here or anything like that. So just manage it the best you can. Other than that, y'all just be mindful of your health. Still a little bit under that death card energy from last week of um, closing out all energy, new energy coming in. So shutting it up one door while another door opens. A little bit of that is still going on here. A message of concern. You're going to have to take a time out your day to address. Working and gaining. Work looks good. Work looks really good this week. Um, there is this older gentleman here. He seems to be lingering around. The one that I see that has the light hair and the facial hair. That person wants to sit down with you. You're going to hear about someone going to jail or someone getting out of jail. There is great fortune this week. Now, great fortune is not necessarily an abundance of money. This is your abundance of health, wealth, family, and friends. That type of abundance. That really, really good abundance. Okay? And there's an older woman that wants to talk to you. I feel she wants your forgiveness or something. 
You've also got some good news arriving. A child inside of you is going to be ready to celebrate and be warned. There's still that deceptive person around. And some of you, well, you may be getting a message from a secret admirer. A little bit of earthbound energy there. Asked to do something for your community. There is some unexpected income here. Guys, this looks like an incredible week. I mean, the energy over here is really, really good. It's very high. It's very high vibration. I don't really have any red flags or warnings that has jumped down for you for the week. Thank goodness. So I'm going to close you out with a couple of affirmations. And I'll be back over here tomorrow with, hey, Dancing Queen, with your next 48 dissecting it down. Now, if you missed this reading in its entirety, give me a few moments and I will be posting it up here for you. All right. Affirmations is something that came out in the very beginning of your reading. Jackie, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All righty. Let's see. What do we have here? I will be back on I will be back on uh, YouTube this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that will give us more of a dissection of this current week. Okay. I am becoming a better person every day. Ooh, I am a miracle. And we have you will not stand in the shadow of another. Good for you. I don't blame you. It's about making it all about you. Just like the moon, I will go through phases, and this is true. And this week, you will go through phases. And it says, I am powerful, and I am loved. All right, gang, that's what I have for you today. Again, my apologies for being late getting over here. Better late than never. I will see you all again tomorrow or this evening. YouTube.com backslash Jackie Tomlin. If you're seeking a personal reading, taking appointments for tomorrow and Wednesday at JackieTomlin.com. And I will see y'all here tomorrow for your next 48. Y'all have a super fantastic evening. And I'll see you then. Bye, gang.